Okay, so this is another video uh, continuing on with the whole idea of manipulating data. Um, in the first one, we talked about how we can grab data based off the columns. Now, let's say we want data based off the rows in some sense to term. So as we can see here, we've got hockey data again. We've got teams height, weight. Now let's say I only want to look at particular teams. So here's a bit of information. Let's figure out uh, the teams we have. So we can use the unique command and we do hockey dollar sign team. So as we discussed previously by doing that, that isolates only row one or the one that's associated with team. And what unique does, it tells us basically all the unique values associated with this column. So we hit enter and we can see that we have the Canadians, the Flames and the Oilers. So let's say I only want to look at information relating to the Canadians. There are a couple different options. The first option is called subset. So let's create a second variable. It's called hockey2. And I only want to look at a subset of data. So subset is a function. The first piece of information has to be the data set that we're taking the subset from. So that's hockey. And then it's the condition by which we want the or, the, or basically the specific data. So I only want it where hockey team is equal to CN. So basically, I only want to look at the hockey teams that are the Canadians. So two things you have to notice. One, I'm using a double equal sign, which implies a Boolean statement. And then the second part is CAN, it's case specific. So since we have here CAN, we have to write down exactly what we see. Now, if we hit enter, we get no errors. And if we take a look at hockey two, all we see here is strictly just the Canadian teams. Now, another option we could do, again, which uses the Boolean statement, uh, but is not completely intuitive is the following command. So hockey three, hockey, hockey team, double equal sign, can, and this is the function. And we hit enter here, we get the exact same thing as before. Now, let's just do a quick play by play of what the function does. So we've got hockey is a data set. Now, as I specified before, the very first position relates to the rows. If we leave this part here, the columns blank, it says I want all the columns. Now, by doing hockey dollar team is equal to CN, it's basically creating a Boolean statement of true or false. So what happens is if we just do hockey team equals CAN, we can see that under the variable hockey team, these ones are true and the remainder are false, which means, well, whenever it's true, that's the part that we're isolating. So then we can see that the first one through one, two, three, four, five, one through 25 are Canadians. The last 26 through however many are not Canadians. And well, that's another way of isolating the data, but I think subset may be a little bit easier to use.